fifteen thousand dollars behind on our billing goal for the for the uh, for the quarter here. So we we got about eleven thousand that just went out to the customers. So we're going to make up some of that uh, by the end of the week here. We've got a few more things that are going, a couple more tools that we're working on. Um, so we should hopefully be able to get back on track pretty quick for that one. Uh, the bigger one is is the mold prep. We're only at about 23% of the molds uh, last week were actually that were hung, were prepped, which is where we've been kind of hovering. So we need to get that number up. So far, just looking at some of the numbers in blue, that percentage is going up in blue, um, but I haven't seen in white because that is the overall percentage for the whole plant. So. Um, we need to see what we can do there. Uh, we did add a guy that's starting to train on second shift to do some more prep on second shift to try to get the number up as well. And uh, during that, we kind of discovered a couple other things that are going on um, for our repair and our prep, the PM process and um, how we track our hours on tools we think needs to have a little bit of work done to it because part of the prep process is doing PMs if they're available. And part of the repair process is we got to make sure we're billing for the hours that we put in on the tools. So we've noticed a couple things there that are lacking. So we're going to be working on those this week and early part of next week to get those shored up. I agree. Thank you. All right. So that's a good example of a visual is important. It's in the computer, but only one person can go in and get it. Or we have, or you have to train tons of people to go into the same computer instead of have visuals. So if we walk out, we can see it. Right. Sorry. All right. Um, So, we have uh, some exciting news that a lot of people are working really hard on. Uh, Steve, Lee, uh, and Tom have been working really hard on. All right, so we, if you notice outside, we have uh, the letters are HPC. So, they've been working really hard on rolling out. So, we're excited to announce we are now HPC. All right, so right here is the new one. So we have the permanent tattoo, which Manny, thank you, so he was able to do all that. So we have the new logo, logo and name, all right? There's a lot of reasons behind it. We'll go through a little bit of it, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So our new tagline, obviously it comes out with that, we want a new tagline. What's the important things? We did a, they did a lot of SWOT analysis, which is strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. And they came out with the people behind your product. All right, people behind the product. Machines can go anywhere. We've read the Toyota way, right? Machines, everybody has machines. It's the people behind the products that matter. We are the, the story, oops, sorry. Sorry about that. All right, we're gonna be, you know, obviously we're gonna keep the people behind the products it becomes this employee owned, right? The HPC team, making sure that happens. When we go into a customer, it's more than just one front face, it's everybody behind that. So again, it's the people behind the product, okay? So that's what they're gonna be going out there and selling. The new logos, as you can see, you know, we're gonna be going to that type of logo. So we'll be changing the way we send things out for the paperwork. Right. Uh, business cards will change for everybody, so we'll have different I, I, things for that. So this is a long time to go in the, in the process. The other thing that helps, honestly, is consistency, okay? Just think about it. We ask for standard work out for everybody, right? But yet, I send a different e uh, e way the email goes out. Robert sends something different. Tom sends something different. So it's the same thing. It's standard work for uh, the office also. So all that stuff's being changed. I know, uh, so we're going to talk about, obviously, because, you know, we're 100% employee-owned. We want to make sure everybody understands that. It's important. Talk about our tool design, our, uh, our tool guarantee, value stream mapping, scientific molding. Some of those are just the bullet points. So now when we go in to tell the story, we're all telling the same story. Not my representation of the story, not Steve's, not Tom's. We're all on the same page and telling the same story to our customers so they understand. And then also the new thing is HPC2. All right, or HPC squared. Is it two or squared, Steve? Squared, sorry, HPC squared, I apologize. They've been working a lot on it. So that's our value added area. So we're making sure that they know what's going on. So value added, secondary operations, it's gonna be, it's gonna be marketed as HPC squared. 
Uh, we have the new website coming out. Again, we talked about it. The pictures you guys did, they, they talked about it at length, about how nice you guys had the plant. I mean, at length. And they mentioned it again yesterday. So you'll see some of the stuff that will be out on the website. Um, so you want to make sure it's all that stuff. It's informative. Uh, we're also using more pictures of the plant, the central system, obviously showing our, our abilities, different things that we have going on, okay? Uh, social media. We're also having a web page, uh, Facebook, and a LinkedIn page. I can't tell you how critical it is. We've already, had, just to be honest, we've already had discussions and had people with issues and we've already had to address it. When you send things out, you represent the company. And when you send things out and you send it and you say, I'm here, we've gotten calls from other competitors, we've gotten calls from other customers about things that have been said because they just said they were here at the plant, right? Because like Facebook, you can say where you're at or what location. So uh, I can't stress enough about when you're checking in or doing something, you got to rep you're representing the company, you're, you know. So just think it like you're at work, all right? So would you do that at work? Would I still have a job if I did that at work? So just the same situation, okay? Uh, we're going to be sending out emails to all of our customers and then uh, launching all this stuff. And again, remember we have Map Plant Tour on 518. So next month we're going to really start putting a list together of things we really want to drive for that Map Plant Tour. There's going to be 62 people here, all right? So they're gonna be 62 people, we're gonna have 10, you know, basically 10 groups of people walking through the plant on 518, all right? Any questions on any of that?